This might be one of the most overlooked features of the Filmic Pro app. If you want to step up the visual quality of your videos, improve your audience retention, and just make more interesting video content, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you how to make B-roll with your phone, whether you have an iPhone or Android, using my favorite creative app, Filmic Pro. So let's dig right in. Grab your cup of coffee and chill with me. Now I know that wasn't the most epic b-roll sequence, but the point is, if you're making talking head videos, educational, kind of like you see on this channel here, we need to tap into our audience by asking ourselves, how can I show instead of tell? And here's why. Think about that last Netflix special, film, TV show that you watched. There's a visual break every three to five seconds. And the reason is because as human beings, our eyes are naturally drawn to movement, changes in scenery. Here's the deal. You may want to invest in some budget-friendly equipment to make the B-roll process a little bit easier. Sometimes you're trying to hold your phone and it's very difficult to hold your phone and perform an action with your hand. You might need to free your hands up. So I definitely recommend in investing in something as basic as one of these guys, super cheap on Amazon, and a phone clip. You can just put that on here and then you've got your hands free. You may also want to consider a tripod, a bendy arm thing like the Joby. I used this for the video you just saw. And on the higher end of the spectrum in terms of pricing and fun is a gimbal. It's electronic, it's battery operated, and it creates more stable footage. So you're not gonna end up with those shaky videos. And if you ever go outside and you wanna make a walking video, then one of these guys is gonna help you out a lot, okay? Now, you don't need any of this stuff. You can definitely do everything I'm talking about with the phone in your hand, and that's how we're gonna make this video right now, just to show you it can be done. Here is our subject. This is a ball, a <laughs> spalding, and it's a miniature basketball. So this is gonna be our subject for the video. We're gonna use this table right here. I'm gonna show you a few shots you can do, and we're gonna use that overlooked feature I mentioned at the start of this video, and that is stitch recorded footage. The reason why you want to check this feature out in the Filmic Pro app is because it enables you to create a sequence of visual B-roll with almost no edits. With a little bit of practice, you can actually get to a point where you're able to make a sequence of visual shots with no edits. That means you have one file, one video file for an entire B-roll sequence. You can drag and drop it on top of your videos. You can still perform edits if you want to, but I want to make this fast for you. I want to make it fun. So we're going to make this video today right now, and we're not going to use any equipment. We're just going to use the phone and the stitch recorded footage feature. We'll show you the results as soon as it's done. All right, first up, let's make sure that we have stitch recorded footage turned on. So you're going to open up your settings inside the Filmic Pro app, go to device, scroll down, and where it says stitch recorded footage, make sure that that is switched on. And the next thing we're gonna do is open up settings, go to frame rate. Here's why you may wanna use 60 frames per second. When you bring that footage into your editor, you can slow it down and speed it up with 
better quality, okay? Normally, I always shoot all my content in 30 frames per second unless it's B-roll. I want the 60 frames. It also gives you more flexibility for stabilizing your footage afterwards. Speaking of which, let's make sure we have stabilization turned on. This is gonna help since we're hand holding the phone. At the bottom left corner, tap on the symbol that opens up these wheels. Since we're using 60 frames per second, we want our shutter speed to be double. It says one over 120. If it doesn't, make sure that you dial this in so that it does. Tap on one over 120 lock in that shutter speed. All right, now we're ready to grab some shots. So keep in mind, depending on which phone you have, like some Android devices, you can't actually use autofocus. Some of the Samsungs don't let you do that, whereas you can do that on an iPhone. So when you're doing a camera movement, where you leave your shot off is where it's gonna be in focus. So we're gonna do an establishing shot where we're standing further away, and then we're just gonna bring it in and stop right about here. And I want that to be the spot where it's in focus. So I'm gonna focus it now, right there, that's great. I'm gonna hit the record button, here we go. And we pause it. Now let's do an orbit shot. We're gonna walk around the table, I'm gonna to try to keep this thing in focus as best I can, all right? So I'm just gonna practice. Okay, I've got enough practice, so now I'm gonna hit the pause button to start the recording again. Awful, awful footwork for an old videographer. Those orbit shots are hard. We're gonna do a top-down shot. So I'm gonna move the phone like this across the surface of the table. I'm gonna start the movement before I hit record. We're gonna focus. Great, okay, I'm gonna put the phone here on the table. And if you grab a cloth, it's gonna help keeping your phone in position so you can hold it easier. Now for this one, obviously I, I have two hands, right? So this is why you might want a tripod, but let's hit the record button. That's pretty cool, I like that. Let's start here. Do an overhead bounce shot. So I'm gonna put the ball right on top of the lens here. Check it. Okay, that's fun. So that's how you can make some quick and easy B-roll sequences. If smash that thumbs up button if you got any value from this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and come back next week where I'm gonna be sharing a video with you that will help you with 10 ideas for B-roll that you can create to enhance your course content, to make better videos for your social media, and I can't wait to see you creating a big impact with your videos. 